this thing on? Who turned this on? Well, I guess since it's on, I'll just have to show you something, right? Because it must be on for a reason. What do I have to show you, though? Uh, oh, oh, I got something. Ah, perfect. Right here. It's a uh, Corsair GS700. And it's a power supply that is worth checking out if you're someone who doesn't want to get too cheap a power supply but is still on somewhat of a budget. So I'm going to show you everything I know about this. And I hope it in, uh, inspires you to maybe check it out. So yes, I have a Corsair GS700 here. And we're going to try to make this a little quick because I don't want to take up all your time just telling you about a power supply. There's not really much to go over. Um, all I'm going to go over is the fact that it's got really good build quality. You got a nice sturdy box case to it. Um, and then you also have the 80 plus bronze that it is. That's really awesome. Uh, it's a matte black finish, which I personally like a lot. Now, we got a, on the front, on the top here, we have a fan that is clear because it changes colors from white, red, and uh, blue. And it can even go off. Now it's really nice that you can turn it off. And you also have this blue plate that you can actually, you know, uh, remove and put different color ones on. But shame on you Corsair, why didn't you give me any more than this blue one? I have two other colors on this darn fan. But anyways, that's that. What can you say? And Not much. But what I can say is that it's a 140 millimeter dual ball bearing fan. This 140 millimeter dual ball bearing fan will not run all the time it will only run when it senses a load or it gets too warm in it so that is an amazing 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 feature definitely something to keep in mind uh, so let's move on to the back of the power supply so we have big huge vents and if you look inside it's actually really good build quality in there but um you know I I know it's probably like stupid for me to even show that because people are like yeah you're not really gonna see much so anyways, you have your light switch, you just tap it each time you want to change it, and like I said, it can even go off. You have your power switch, and you have your power plug, which they give you a thick, one hell of a thick power plug. Now, a little, like I said, a pet peeve, with, or a little pet peeve I have with this is, my computer has an intake on the front, an intake on the side, intake on the bottom, an intake on the rear, and it has two uh, exhausts on the top that are very powerful. So if I were to try to put this facing up in my computer, it's going to totally go against because this is at the bottom. It's going to try to suck air from the bottom, but then my other fans are going to be sucking air from the top. It totally doesn't work. I don't know what the heck they were thinking, um, you know, for them to make it like this. Now, GS is for their gaming series, so that's, that's why they put all the fans, uh, the lights in it because they want it for, you know, gamers really like uh, the fancy computers or you know, the, the colorful computers. But um, overall, like... When you look at it from the back, like when it's in your computer, this is how it'll look because I have it pulling air from the bottom. Now, what sucks about that is I really only get to, uh, you know, have uh, a view of my light from here. But it is nice that it, these are huge vents and it pulls in a, uh, or let it, the air exhaust out pretty good. And this fan is really nice and uh, very quiet but pulls a lot of air. Uh, so now, let's get to uh, some... Uh, you know some things about that is the fact that um, because you know this is pulling air like you don't see this fan really on the top and you don't see this either all you really see is that part out of the back and as you see they thought about it because they put it right side up it's like what the heck were they thinking um, so it's like uh, a little a little disappointed with them on that so let's get to something else here cables big deal for me one problem not modular for me I have a thermal take commander it is a mid tower case it is not that big and it's kinda tough to stuff things into um, when it's not when they are this long of cables and this many of them uh, but I won't let that stop me because I still got it in it looks great in my computer and if you have a full tower case you're gonna love the fact that they're that long now, the reason I don't want a full tower case is because my friend had a full tower case, and they're usually made out of steel for any good one. He had a full tower case, and I'll tell you what, when I picked that thing up, I swear my balls dropped off uh, off my body onto the floor and rolled under and picked up some some dust from his underneath his uh, shelves because 
Uh, that that was so heavy. I would never want that ever uh, again. That was really heavy. So um, I'm not a big fan of mid tower of uh, full tower cases. I'm a mid tower case fan. Uh, you know they work perfect for me and they can hold all my stuff. But that's just me. Now let's get on to the actual wires. Uh, so we have our 24 pin, which can be turned into a 20 pin by this awesome design. Let me see if I can get my thumb behind it. See how there's clips um, and there's little slots for it to go in on here. You're gonna pop it in. It makes it so much better rather than like this PCI Express here, where good thing that the graphics cards are out on the like on the outside, so you can like you know always easily get to their power ports. Um, because this only like this part only like slips on. But like you let it go and it's gonna pop right off because it doesn't have those clips. Now you get two PCI Express ports. I'll uh, find the other one. There we go. You get two PCI Express and we get our 20 20 slash 24 pin. Uh, like I said, that's duh on every one. And uh, like <laughs> every power supply has to have that. And then you also have your CPU. The CPU does the same thing with the clips. Okay, big deal because the CPU is a bitch to get to when you already have your stuff like a big gigantic heatsink installed at least on my computer so uh, last we have our Molex uh, you know why well, I, I shouldn't say last because last would be the SATA but um, we have our power connections we have Molex three on each with a 3.5 inch floppy uh, connector on the other end um, or on the far end of it and then same with this so we got three and then the th uh, three and then the you know, 3.5 inch connector. Now you have your SATAs. Your SATAs are going to be one, two, three, and four. Uh, they are perfectly spaced. I find them to be absolutely great, and they're 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 wonderful. They're absolutely wonderful. Definitely, uh, you know, have made it a lot easier for me. Now a little bit of an issue. See this weird? Like, look at look at this. Okay, come on. That's that's tacky, man. It should be like, you know, that. Not that. It's, it's, like, it's like it's fat. It's like a snake that ate a mouse and it's got like the fat part in its stomach right now. Like, kind of a little nasty on that. They could have done a little better on the braids. They, they, it's like getting, it's like getting, it's like getting someone who weighs a hundred pounds, like a triple XL shirt. It didn't, it didn't really make sense. Um, but overall, it looks nice. It looks. It, it, it looks great. It feels great. It works awesome. Um, the only reason this one's out is I had a mishap with it. I can't put Corsair down. I don't know what happened. If, if maybe something happened in shipping, but after like a month of running, it only runs for like 10 seconds. My other one that I bought and put in has been running for quite some time now. I'm going to send this one back to Corsair. I just wanted to make a uh, review on it because I don't know how long it's going to take for you know, manufacturers to get around. I, I really didn't want to spend the money to ship it out and all that right away. So, you know, I'll get to it. But overall, I would love to turn it on. But like I said, it, it, uh, it this one's got an issue. But I've got a brand new, or I've got a new one in my computer that's been working for quite some time now. And it works fabulous. Quiet as heck. You only hear that fan turn on. Like, when that's the only time you'll ever hear that. Like, when that fan turns on uh, initially, um... Every time it like turns on for its load sensing, that's when you'll hear it. Like once it goes to its normal RPM, like it, you don't even hear it anymore. But when it first starts up, it's like a woo, and then it goes yeah. So it's that's about it. I mean, it's it's great. The thing is fabulous. I got it for eighty bucks uh, instead of the one ten that it normally costs. So check it out if you're in the market for a, um, you know, a power supply that is going to be good. You have eighty plus bronze here. And a three-year warranty. I know Corsair normally has five or seven, but this one, uh, uh, as GS points out, that it's part of its gaming series. Okay, gaming series means uh, it's gonna only get a three-year warranty. Um, that's not all it means, but I'm just saying it's all it's gonna get is a three-year warranty on the gaming series. Other than that, though, it has worked phenomenally for me, and I hope if you get it, that it works phenomenally for you. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy it, or if you did like it, please hit like. And if you like my channel, please hit subscribe, because it really helps me out a lot. And I hope to bring you more product reviews, and I have some other funny videos that you should check out on the channel. So thanks again for watching. I urge you all to 
keep checking into my channel for more videos as I will just keep popping more out. So, enjoy.